in the name of Allah, the most beneficent, the most merciful. Dear students, I hope you all are fine and taking safety precautions to keep yourself immune and healthy during this prevailing pandemic. Stay safe. Dear students, today I will teach you the poetry part of unit number two, The Old Brown Horse. This poem tells the tale of an old brown horse who is now past his prime. He has seen better days when he was young. Now as he has grown old, he stands near the fence and look over as if exhausted and tired. He seems to be speaking to the people who passed by the field that he had had his day and now he was just watching everyone go about doing their jobs unconcerned about the horse existence. Let's start the poem. The Old Brown Horse the old brown horse looks over the fence in a very sort of way. He seems to be saying to all who pass, Well, fox, I have had my day. I am simply watching the world go by and nobody seems to mind as they are dashing past in their motor cars. A horse who is lame and half blind. The old brown has a shaggy coat, but once he was young and trim, and he used to trot through woods and lanes with the man who was fond of him, but his master rides in a motor car, and it makes him feel quite sad when he thinks of the days that used to be and of all the times they had. Sometimes a friendly soul will stop near the fence where the tired old head rests wearily on the topmost bar and a friendly word is said. Then the old brown horse gives a little sigh as he feels the kindly touch of a hand on his mane or his shaggy coat and he doesn't mind so much. If you pass by the field one day, just stop for a word or two with the old brown horse who was once as young and as full of life as you. He will love the touch of your soft young hand and I know he'll seem to say, Oh, thank you, friend, for the kindly thought for a horse who has had his day. Dear students, I will explain every stanza of the poem one by one here. I will explain the meanings first and then, we'll, then I will explain the stanza. I will suggest you to answer the following questions which are on this slide on your English notebook as a stanza as a practice of stanza comprehension. Let's start. The first phrase is dash past. Dash past means to pass swiftly or to pass quickly. Next phrase is have one's day. Have one's day means retire. If someone has had his day, it means he has retired from his job or he has grown old. Next is go by. Go by means to pass or to move. And the last is weary. Weary means tired. Let's go to the stanza explanation. This is first stanza. In this stanza, the poet tells the tale of an old brown horse who is now feeling lonely and retiring. He had seen better days when he was young. Now as he has grown old, 
He stands near the fence and looks over as if he exhausted and tired. He seems to be speaking to the people who pass by the field that he had had his day and now he was just watching everyone go about doing his jobs, unconcerned about the horse existence. No one seems to be bothered about the horse. For now, they drive their motor cars and no longer need the services of a horse. More so, if he is old and half blind. Dear students, now it is the turn of stanza number two. Let's dis discuss the vocabulary first. First word is shaggy. Shaggy means long, thick and unkempt. The old brown horse has a shaggy coat. It means it has long, thick and unkempt skin. Next is, next word is trim. Trim means thin and fit. It means when the horse was young, it was fit and thin. Third word is trot. Trot means to run at a slow pace. The way the horse runs. It means the horse used to run through the woods and lanes at a slow pace. And the last word of this stanza is lanes. Lanes means a narrow way or road through which the horse used to trot. Now the explanation of stanza 2. Here the poet tells us that, that the horse is left to fend for himself. His coat appears unkempt. Now, whereas once he was well taken care of by a master who was fond of him, now that the passage of time had rendered his useless, his master chose to drive about in a motor car. This is what saddens the poor horse. As he had grown old and unfit, his master was ignoring him too. He recalled his pleasant past and the time he and his master spent together. Thank you. Stanza number three. Let's discuss the vocabulary first. The first word is fence. Fence is actually a structure of wood or wire around an area to prevent excess or escape. Next word is verily. Verily means with extreme tiredness or you are really tired. Sigh. Sigh means a long deep breath of sadness. And the last word of this stanza is mane. Mane is actually long hair on the neck of a horse, lion or any other mammal. Let, let's explain the stanza. Once in a while, when considerate person happens to pass by, notices the very horse resting his head on the topmost bar of the fence, the person takes pity on the horse and speaks a kind word or two, soothing the horse's agony. The person touches his mane or the sagging coat. The horse lets out a sigh for he doesn't mind this act of kindness, just like he doesn't mind others' indifference. Horse is very, really sad and he wants really someone to take care of him. Thank you. This is the last stanza. Let's discuss the vocabulary first. First phrase is full of life. Full of life means active and lively. When you are full of life, you live your life happily and excitedly. Next word is, next phrase is kindly thought. Kindly thought are words of sympathy. Next is had his day. Had his day means spent his good day. If someone had had his day, it means he had spent his good days. Not last word is touch. When you touch an animal, it means you pat on its back. You pat, you can pat on a cat or a dog or on a horse. Let's start the explanation. In the last stanza, the reader moves towards the end of the poem. The poet asks the reader to stop for a little while 
if he or she happens to pass by the field where the old brown horse stands and speak a few affectionate words. The poet remarks that the horse was once as young and lively as the person. The horse would love the gentlest touch of the person's young hands and would be much grateful for the kind concern shown to a horse who had has his day. I hope you enjoyed the poem. I will suggest you to practice each of the stanzas on your English notebook. Solve all the questions so that you can get all the poem easily. Thank you very much. See you in the next video. Allah Hafiz.